It's a good old Costco haul. Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Bang on my channel. I do a variety of lifestyle videos, vlog videos, food review videos, and haul videos, especially Costco and Trader Joe's haul. In today's video, it's going to be a big, huge, magnificent Costco haul. We spent $300 in Costco and it was amazing. We bought so much food. Just a disclaimer, not everything is for me and myself. It's also for my husband, for his coworker. They've been eating together during the work lunch for a long time. So just FYI, like, although I bought a lot of food, it's not all for me. I can't, there's no way I can finish all of this food. But I'm also trying to make a conscious effort not to eating out so much. So I try to have enough food in the fridge. So when I'm so tired after my yoga teacher training when I come home at 10 15 p.m. I can actually eat a late night meal without having to cook anything or like eating any like takeouts so before I start don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm I don't make money over thumbs up it just helps me out with the algorithm I really appreciate your support and without further ado let's get into today's haul first item is a very interesting item this is from the brand Joyba and this is the Joyba bubble tea with delicious popping boba it says there's no artificial flavor sweeteners non GMO and non -BMO. BPA things like that so boba tea can be really really expensive out of curiosity we decided to try this product because it's $14 for eight cups of boba which is equivalent of less than two dollars per cup and this one is more fruity flavor there are two flavors in this box there are four cups of mango passion fruit green tea and four cups of strawberry lemonade green tea so I'm so excited and I'm going to post a dedicated review video of this item. I don't know if I'm going to post that video before this haul or after this haul, but definitely check it out before you purchase. We like this item, but it's not a perfect substitute for a boba tea shop, just, you know, spoiler. And also another thing to keep in mind, that this box is supposed to be handled with care. No joke, you're supposed to be handling this box with care because if you drop it, one of the cups or some of the cups may actually spill because the actual packaging of, you know, the cups, they're like all stacked together. So any impact could have like spilled one of the cups, which is what happened when I tried to film the video. But I only wasted one cup, but I did make a mess. So FYI, if you're purchasing this item at Costco, make sure you handle it with care. If you are curious of what it looks like, this is what it looks like. This one is the mango passion fruit. And I highly recommend that if you drink it with ice, I do think it's really refreshing fruity tea, but it may not be a replacement of boba because I love the heavy cream in my boba milk tea. And I also like the tapioca ball, but this one is popping boba, which some people may like and some people may not like. Hey, coming up, the next item is a uh, lemon, Greek lemon rice risotto style rice. This one, I would never think about purchasing this item because I don't make a lot of risotto at home. So usually I would never pay attention to a small box like this. Like this packaging, I would say, it's just so simple, but it doesn't really catch my eye. But Costco is actually giving out samples. So we were just looking out, we were like, oh, there's some rice items. I love rice. So I went there and I tried this Greek lemon rice risotto. Man, it actually tastes really, really good. The flavor is on point. The texture is really good too. And I really like that refreshing flavor from the lemon. So we decided to buy it. It seems to be very easy to just cook it. So we just put it in a saucepan and you just do it as it is. And it doesn't take too long to cook it. And it seems like it's an easy item. So we decided to purchase, you know, it tasted really good because I really, really like that refreshing element from the lip. Okay, the next item. We always wanted to buy it, but sometimes they ran out. This is from the brand TPA. Did I say it right? Tipia? Tipia? So it's from this brand. Costco has been carrying this item for a long time, but sometimes they have it, sometimes they ran out and then come back. And there are 36 French macarons inside of this box. And it says, this is a limited edition. 
we noticed that there's so many holiday collections at Costco because you know holidays are coming so many Christmas items and we haven't even seen Halloween yet but I decided to pick it up because I really like macaroons and there are different flavors such as red velvet, chocolate, mandarin, and milk chocolate. And I think this one is pistachio, dos de leche, and cream belay. They're one, two, three, four, five, six. Six flavors. 36 macaroons so these are really good to bring to the office because there's something really really small it's such a small dessert each macaroon is about 150 calories to 160 calories i just want to do a disclaimer i always run through the um nutrition facts with you when i talk about an item it doesn't mean that I calculate calorie when I eat. I actually don't, but I am very mindful of what I put into my body. Like if I eat some dessert item already today, I probably won't eat another dessert item. So I do keep in mind of the sugar intake and the protein intake and the vitamins intake, but I don't like actually calculate a calories. But let's just give you some insight just in case you want to purchase this. It's 150 calories each macaroon. And it's a really good item to bring to work or family dinner. It's just something really small for like morning breakfast, tea or afternoon tea time. It's really, really nice. Okay, so speaking of snack, I picked up a Kirkland Extra Fancy Mixed Nut. This one has cashews, almonds, pecans, and this is one of the very like classic nuts that um, Costco carries. They also have a green bottle, I believe, or a green lid. I believe that one is actually um, salt-free or sodium-free. I do recommend that if you have concerns or like with the sodium, you may not want to pick up this item because it does contain quite a bit of sodium. But I do want to say that like if you work out a lot, if you need some sodium because you sweat during your workout, this one is really good pre-workout snacks, post-workout snacks because it fills me up with a lot of energy and nutrients. So I picked up one night. Ta-da! I picked up this item just because it looks so cute. This is definitely like a Halloween special in October. I don't see this very often. It says it's award-winning chef crafted. Ooh. So this one, it says it's served in the fine restaurants since 1989. And it's pumpkins and bats ravioli. So basically it says it's Italian brand of cheeses. I'm really, really interested. So if you're having a Halloween theme party or if you're cooking for your kids, this is definitely gonna make cooking so much fun or dinner so much fun because the raviolis are actually pumpkin shaped and they're also bats in between. I personally think this is really, really cool. So I just wanted to buy it, to experience it. We're probably not gonna do anything for Halloween. It's just not my thing to dress up, but I do like to hand out candies and eat candies. I felt like Halloween's to me is a celebration of candies and a lot of interesting snacks. All right, guys, here comes our pumpkin ravioli. Actually, I don't know if they're actually pumpkin fillings or they're just cheese filling with ravioli. Oh, these are cheese ravioli in a pumpkin shape if you open this up you see like inside the ravioli are actually cheese i don't think there's actually pumpkins in there there's actually a cheese ravioli in a pumpkin and batman shape do you like it mm -hmm. is it cheese ravioli cheese. it's only cheese right mm -hmm. there's no like other pumpkins or anything no pumpkin just all cheese it's just in the pumpkin and batman shape Bat shape and pumpkin. That's yeah. Me. Right. So this is just Could normal. Could use some meat though. Maybe sausage taste may taste better. Okay. I think it tastes pretty good. It's really cheesy. I think it's good. It's kind of fun to eat, but there's nothing like too special about this ravioli, right? Nope. Just tastes like cheese raviolis. Yeah, it just tastes like cheese raviolis, but in a really fun shape. Let the party continue. This one has been spilling a little bit because the way it's put into this box. So I bought a quinoa salad. Ta-da! I think this one is a really famous from Costco. Actually, like if you're a vegan, I highly recommend the quinoa because if you're a vegan, not only do you need to be careful with the vitamin B12 supplements, but also like the complete protein. There are certain amino acids that our body cannot compose ourselves. So we need to get them directly from the food source. And the vegan protein, um, 
that contains these amino acids include soy products, quinoa products, and also buckwheat. Honestly, I don't know what buckwheats are, but I read it in that book because I kind of, I, there was a time I wanted to be a um, nutrition, like dietitian or something, but I didn't go for it, but I bought the textbooks and studied it. So, quinoa salad, very, very healthy because it contains carbs, it contains uh, fiber, it contains a lot of nutrients, and also complete protein. So, I got one thing of quinoa salad and with the goal of eating more plant-based diet. And I also bought a Asian wrap with rotisserie chicken and dressing. Um, this one is an all-time favorite of mine. And there was a time that I buy this item every single week. And there was a time that every single day I eat this one for lunch, Monday through Thursday. And Friday, I probably eat something different, um, change things up a little bit. So I ate these things religiously, at least for like 90 days until like you know pandemic hit we stopped going to Costco we stopped oh, we start shopping online and things like that so we stopped buying this item and we started cook more this is really really um easy because you can just buy these wraps and then bring them to work as lunch you don't have to worry about anything and they're pretty healthy because it does it does have rotisserie chicken and it also has a little bit of asian chicken salad in there a little bit of vegetable not too much so you may want to eat a side salad in addition to this just to get like a complete new Nutrients, but I think it's a great deal. It used to be a little bit cheaper, but still, I, I think it's a good item. Okay, also from the deli aisle, these are the Costco shrimp ceviche. Yeah, these are so good. Like, uh, we used to like the Costco shrimp pasta, but for some reason they discontinued that item. But the shrimp ceviche is actually really, really good. The ceviche flavor is really good with cilantro and peppers and you know lime and everything. The flavor is really good. The shrimps are huge, and this is a really good deal. It's like twelve dollars, and you can eat it like for a lot of servings because you're not gonna eat it for a full meal. It's like on the side or something like that. So highly recommend the shrimp ceviche. I personally think this. This one tastes a little bit better than the shrimp cocktail, but of course, your choice. Bought one thing of Normandy vegetables. So basically, these are frozen vegetables which contains broccoli, cauliflower, baby carrots, um, yellow carrots, and things like that. I really like cauliflower and broccoli, so I do think that this item with just a frozen bag of vegetables, like sometimes when we don't have time to go to like the normal grocery store, we can just rely on these frozen vegetables. There's certain vitamins that actually got preserved a little bit better in the frozen vegetables versus others such as uh, vitamin C. Usually they get lost during the frozen, uh, freezing uh, process. So just letting you know that it is a little bit different from the fresh vegetables, but it's really good. It's really good. And I think I eat enough vitamin C from fruits that I don't care if it's in my vegetables. The next item that we got is my husband is going to take this to work. They're going to eat this as lunch. This is from the brand La Vie Gourmet. And this one is a Mediterranean flatbread margarita. This one, the secret is in the dough. It says it's a very authentic and it's ready in five to seven minutes. We've never tried this item before, but it looks really appealing. It kind of looks like the nice restaurants. So we decided to give it a try. Well, my husband is going to give it a try. If they like it, I may actually purchase myself. So this is definitely the first time purchase. And I believe that I've never seen it before. Maybe I missed it. So if you have tried this item, please comment down below if you like it. And of course, my husband is a meat lover. He bought this um, Angus cheeseburger. It's from the frozen aisle. I'm a little bit suspicious. I was like, how is a frozen cheeseburger gonna taste good? I don't know. So let me know if you have tried this, but it seems like this one is very easy. There are eight individually wrapped sandwiches or burgers, and it's from the brand Pierre Signatures. This item, I do wanna say that there's quite a bit of fat, there's also quite a bit of cholesterol. There's quite a bit of sodium. I think the sodium is kind of okay. The Beyond Burger patty actually has a lot of sodium, which went, which is something I noticed. But I actually really like Beyond Burger. I like the texture, which is something that other people don't like. Maybe it's just me, but my husband is going to give it a try and eat it for lunch. So recently, I noticed that I've been eating a lot of carbs for breakfast and carbs only and that is definitely not healthy because usually carbs makes me more hungry later. I might as well not eat 
I felt like carbs they make my blood sugar goes like so I decided to buy some hard-boiled eggs as breakfast so this is a new packaging I think for Costco I think 16 packs of two so each pack I think has two eggs or something and I think it's really really beneficial to have these individually wrapped um, hard-boiled eggs because it takes a long time to boil them like I don't have that time in the morning so I'm just gonna grab a bag to eat at work it's not fall without butternut squash so we bought some of these usually I buy these with a soup item I love butternut squash in a soup but this time we just bought it itself and we may roast it or like I just love that creamy taste of butternut squash it's slightly sweetened but it's not as sweet as the sweet potatoes so I really really like it so I bought a thing of this I like to put it in the Costco Kirkland chicken tortilla soup I think it tastes really really good in the soup but you can also try it in the other types of soup base and let me know which soup works really really well with butternut squash I got hooked with macadamia nuts when I was in Hawaii I've always had macadamia nuts because you know it's always in the mixed nuts and I noticed that it's the nut that I really really like but it's usually really expensive by itself so this one is like $17 I remember when I was in Hawaii it was definitely cheaper than this because it's something that Hawaii produces locally but I couldn't resist it because it looks so good so I decided to put another macadamia nut so it tastes so good but just be careful like every time you eat nuts it's definitely a high fat content so try to push yourself do not be like me who eats like like crazy because I love them we got another thing of stir-fried vegetables in this bag has snap peas and mushrooms and things like that so my husband is going to take it to work they have a thing going on at work that they just cook in the office kitchen hmm but it's interesting because they have like slow cookers, air fryers, like anything that cooks like they don't have like actual stove or anything but just they put something in the pot and it just works. I wish I could do that in my office but I can so I've been microwaving a lot of food which is definitely not healthy and not fresh so they bought a frozen vegetables. This one has like more a larger variety of vegetables but personally I just like my cauliflower and broccoli and carrots so one for me, one for him. We got a fruit bowl. This one looks so good. They're usually really expensive in the local grocery store. Costco had it a little bit cheaper and of course I'm too lazy to cut things. And I got some plums. Hopefully these are sweet because sometimes they could be a little bit sour. Charmin, need I say more? A toilet paper, finally back in stock. So I really like the Ultra Strong just because they don't have the random <laughs> crummies. But just saying like sometimes they have the blue ones, sometimes they have the red ones. But I'm so glad that we're back to Charmin because I remember a year ago, crazy crisis with toilet paper. This tea was on sale. So I think I bought two cases of these. These are Ito N. I think when I bought it, it was like $3 off. And I love these because these are like sugarless, non-sweetened, unsweetened green tea. I like unsweetened green tea and these are a little bit like similar to that matcha taste. Um, this is a really good Japanese brand. I used to have this a lot when I was in China. So I am a real, I buy these religiously just because I don't like sugar in my tea. I don't like sugar in my coffee and that's just how I am. We got some white peaches. It's almost off season for peaches. So I bought one last thing of peaches before the fall season is fully here. So that's it for today's Costco haul. We bought so many items. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have tried any of the items in today's haul, please comment down below and let us know what you think of them and also what you recommend us to try from Costco. We really appreciate your opinions, your suggestions. We found so many great items because of your suggestions. So keep your comments coming. Let us know what you recommend and we're good. And we're really excited to give it a try. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you are always on track with what's going on with Costco and my life in general and your life in general. And also ring the notification bell item so that you will be notified when I upload a new video and also give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. I really appreciate your support. That's it for today. Thank you so much for hauling with me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Happy shopping! Happy eating! Have a great fall season!